Hey everybody, I wanted to show you all one more last time this nautical decorated tree before I took it down to redecorate it. The nautical look will return later for the summer, but right now I have other ideas. So since I'm changing up the dining room displays and I'm working on some new ones, I wanted to give y'all a quick look at what our tree again had looked like there's a cute little crab up there and some cute fish I really like these long beautiful trailing flowers from Dollar Tree but when I went over there that one time I only managed to get four that's all they had and these cute little you know beach looking little flowers i love these too and of course we have all our pretty ornaments that we've had through the years there's a beautiful jellyfish ornament and walmart had a few that we got and hobby lobby is where we got the fancier fish like you see right there and those beautiful nautilus uh shells Those uh, blue and white striped ones we got from Walmart a long, long time ago. As well as the glass light blue ones. Uh, we got those from Walmart. And these gold ones we got from uh, Frank, who gave them to us last year. And these turquoise ones, I'm trying to remember if I got them at Walmart or Hobby Lobby. I couldn't remember. These blue ones, of course, we had gotten from Walmart a long, long time ago, as well as these turquoise-looking ones. And as you can see, I like putting picks into our tree to give it more bulk, more interest. These are blue feathers that I decided to use in the nautical tree because I bent them to give them, you know, a look of movement. And here's more greenery. So I am about to show you guys our little display area where we have our nautical decor going on so I'll be right back to show you what I've done see you soon hey everybody I'm back this is a small area next to our living room doorway and I had decked it out of course nautical I started with that little shelf up there where I have the lanterns that light up and a cute sign and a, and a cute little fish that I've had forever and those candle holders that I made years ago. You see our small collection of shark ornaments that we got at Hobby Lobby uh, about a couple of years ago or so, maybe three. And down here is one of my paintings. I'm sorry for the glare on it, guys, but it is varnished, so it's shiny and pretty, and nothing should happen to it, but I'm sorry that the glare. Let me see if I move this way. It's one of our favorite paintings. And yes, I am an artist, and Yes, I've been painting for about 30 years now. Here next to the painting is a authentic camel bell that my husband got for one of his relatives a long, long time ago. And over here is the cute nautical tree that I made a video of a while back. Isn't it cute? And of course it has the little boats and the anchors and the little shell ornaments that I painted and put little hooks in the back and ribbons and little reeds and it's got two cute little uh, whales that my son gave me a long time ago. A cute sign. There's seahorses in there as well. And, of course, I don't know if you can see them, but there are the 
the blue crunchies that I first came up with and a collection of real shells that were my grandmother's there's a ceramic little pair of fish and our Avon um, I want to say milk glass. Oh, no, no, it's not milk glass. Um, ura uh, uranium glass. I'm not quite sure what the green glass is called, or but it's so cute. The little tail comes off and it exposes the the bottle top. Back there in the back is a Nautilus picture that I got from Dollar Tree a long time ago. In front of it is one of our faux goodies. A beautiful Coca-Cola glass, blue glasses. I don't know if the blue of the glass, oh yes, you can see it down there on the bottom where it's reflecting with its um, you know, chocolate chip, faux ice cream with faux chocolate syrup and cute little stone sprinkles. And of course, here's the other one over here. And here is the cake stand, which is actually an old candle holder that I picked up from a yard sale that I cleaned, polished up, and hand painted to look more, more real. And I added a cute little shell, wooden shell down there. And of course here is the beautiful nautical sandcastle. My husband says that it could also be a lighthouse, guys. And I think, I think he's right because that big orb up there could easily have become the lighthouse, you know, light up at the top. So you can go either way. This could be a sand castle or a sand lighthouse. Isn't it pretty? I'm very proud of this piece. It took hours and actually it took like about what, two weeks to actually complete something like that because I had to do it in parts. I don't have free time to just, you know, try to go at it for a long time. So everything took time to prepare. Everything from the faux waves made out of styrofoam and glitter and paints and everything to hand painting all those cute little wooden little sea animals and putting the sands on there and painting up every layer and just doing everything and everything and definitely sanding the castle was really something to do and I liked it. I mean, it came out beautiful. It really, really did. We're very happy with it. And up here in the front, you have the two faux uh, donuts that are topped with luscious faux frosting. And one has a cute little boat and one has a cute little seahorse, which I painted white because it wasn't showing up very well. And they are sitting inside a, a, a shallow fish bowl with pearls and authentic shells that I picked up in trips to Corpus when I was younger and some were my grandmother's. And over here you see new faux candies that I made and you know out of molds and then hand painted them to look like this. These are actually roses. I don't know if you can make out the shape. And these are just simply little chocolate pieces or full chocolate pieces that I made. And you're coming over here. Now this little cloche I made just simply out of a glass. Um, like a drink glass that I got from Dollar Tree years and years ago. And I had all these shells. So I took... A, a few of them and I you know super glued them to the top part added the center you know a little knob that you could use to pick them up pick it up now right now what I have under here are the faux seaside bonbons 
that I have used in, in, in other videos. And those were made with real little shells that I painted up gold and glittered them up. And the bonbons were small styrofoam uh, balls that I made, that I coated with plaster of Paris already painted in this color. And then I simply just speckled them with black sand to give it a cute, you know, beach look to them. And then I put them inside those cute little white and red wrappers. Now, like I was saying, this little cloche here, it could be sitting on a little plate or something. But for now, I just have it like this. Because I came across it the other day and I wanted to use it. And on top, as you can see, it is bedecked with little jewels. Lots of colorful beads and sequences. And tons and tons of... Mod Podge to seal it all up with glitters. I mean, it is thick. But I wanted to make something that looked like jewels from the ocean. So I think I accomplished that. What do you think? And down here, I have... Some ceramic fish that I've had for years. They're just simply there. And they're in front of my lemon pitcher. That for now is just put away for now. There's my husband's uh, green carnival glass um, deviled egg platter that we love. Some gold shells that I painted up. There is an Avon uh, perfume bottle that is a beautiful shell and then i have these adorable and i do mean adorable fish glass fish that have a, a colored oil inside them one is blue and one's green and it has these cute little fishies in them can you see them aren't they adorable i don't know what you call these or what they really are i mean they're i suppose they're like paperweights but they have those little fish in there and they look so real and I think it's resin in the glass or something. It's just beautiful. I love those. And my aunt gave me those. The pearls inside the shells, I made those clam shells. I put them together and then I just put, glued in some black sand and added the, the pearl to it, which is glued down too. And then here I just have a couple of faux um, white chocolates. And my bowl full of faux lemon ornaments, which I will be using later or soon. And some nautical ornaments that I made a long time ago. But I'll, I'll probably show those off again at some other time. Now I wanted to talk about something that my friend um, Barbara had brought up. She had done this really awesome... Um, crafted piece using a piece of wood and I wanted to add to this video in case she saw it that we also have a piece of wood that we've had for quite a while my husband uh, brought it from Missouri um, I want to say his great uncle was the one that got it for him and here it is Barbara here's that chunk of wood that I was talking to you about. It's pretty thick. It's slightly heavy. It's got all these numbers and symbols and stuff because, you know, back in the day during the times that they were, you know, sending big logs down the river, they would get stamped, you know, I suppose by the companies or the owners. And it came with, let me see if I can read you the back of what was written on a little index card um, it says end of log so this is the end of the log with the brand logging companies branded each log before floating them down the river to the sawmill this log was in the Menominee River between Wisconsin and Michigan this log is called a deadhead 
because it sank to the bottom of the river and was recovered many years later. This log was probably cut about 1900 to 1912, around there, and recovered, found again, right? About 1930. Can you imagine? If only the log could talk. <laughs> So I use it for a pedestal to put, you know, decorations on it. I've used it to put uh, fake cakes on it, to um, put cookie jars on it, to put flower arrangements on. Sometimes I prop it up just like that. Sometimes I just, you know, put it up on a shelf like this, of course, and use it like a tray or sorts. But isn't it, isn't it awesome? And it's got this split right here. But it's very, very old, ancient. But what a beautiful piece, piece of history, huh? So Barbara, I hope you like this big old hunk of wood here. And I hope you like the camel bell as well. That's a real camel bell right there. So that is really, really something. And I guess, let me see if I can ring it for you. <laughs> I consider it a good luck charm. So that's why I have it right there. But in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this little arrangement of sorts that I have here. That's nautical. The, the decorations will always be changing throughout either the house or just the dining room. I'm always doing something or other. And I have some new themes that I want to try out with the things that I have already. And maybe I can make a few new ones. We'll see. But I really wanted to show you guys how this little nook area looked because it's, it's really pretty. And I'm going to keep it here for, for a little while yet. Um, but like I said, I'm very proud of that castle, faux castle cake that Rob considers a lighthouse. And I can see why. It does kind of remind you of a lighthouse, doesn't it? It's high up and that big old ball up there looks like the big light that's up there, you know. And of course we have that cute sign back there. That I got from Dollar Tree a few years ago that says, Love is an anchor. Yes, it is. But it's a good anchor. So thank you so much, guys, for coming by. I hope that you enjoyed what I had to show you. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. Please like, comment. I would love to see comments. And maybe we'll get to know one another, share ideas, stuff like that. And I am in the middle of redecorating certain areas of the dining room. And this mama got some shelves. So you'll probably be seeing those in later videos as well. So until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. All you subscribers that have been with me from the beginning, as well as all of you new ones, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Keep on coming. Until next time. Bye-bye.